I'm Bernard Hickey with the Daily Briefing from interest.co.nz. Today we'll look at the latest news from the global credit crunch. It's not something you'll see reported anywhere else in New Zealand, but things got much worse overnight. We'll look at the unholy mess around the liquidation of companies linked to the blue chip franchise scheme for property investors. And we'll check out the latest food price inflation figures, which show inflation is still uncomfortably high. Firstly, let's have a quick look at what's happening with the global credit crunch, which has so far trickled through to higher mortgage rates here and occasionally some New Zealand dollar weakness. We had some big and ominous news overnight. Firstly, in Europe, where the German government has been forced to stump up 1 billion euros to bail out a bank hit hard by the US subprime crisis. This is the third bailout for Germany's IKB Bank, which specialises in lending to small businesses. And it's the first time the German federal government has had to inject its own money. None of the big Australian banks that run New Zealand's banking system have had to declare any subprime losses yet. And they're not expected to. The biggest direct exposure in New Zealand so far has been the collapse in the value of Macquarie Fortress notes. But it could get worse. We had news overnight that the Port Authority of New York tried to sell bonds through Goldman Sachs, but eventually had to accept an interest rate of 20%. That's up from 4.3% last week. Elsewhere, Michigan has suspended its student loan program after turmoil and credit markets shut down its own borrowing program. The Wall Street Journal has reported that about $10 billion worth of bonds issued by student loan authorities for Montana and Mississippi, Carnegie Hall and Deerfield Academy, which is an exclusive Massachusetts uh, prep school, failed to find buyers at an auction on Tuesday. This looks very dangerous. When the credit markets shut down for reputable borrowers such as local governments, then America's economy has a problem. This is causing many to believe the US Federal Reserve will have to cut official rates by a further 50 basis points to 2.5%, either on or before it meets again on March 18. This is partly because the previous 125 basis points of cuts inside two weeks in late January appears not to be flowing through to consumers and businesses because of the credit market turmoil. Two further Fed rate cuts are expected later in 2008. Ironically, this will make our currency more attractive in the long term, although another period of financial market turmoil is likely to scare off these yield-hungry investors in the short term. Now, back at home, 19 companies associated with the blue chip franchise system for investing and owning properties have gone into liquidation, owing thousands of investors millions of dollars. However, neither the master franchisee company, DM Limited, or the Australian-based parent company, Blue Chip Financial Solutions Limited, have gone into liquidation yet. Blue Chip changed its model last year to a franchise system and moved its listing to Australia. The whole setup is a complete mess and will take months to unravel, that's according to the liquidator. It will also put more pressure on the market for apartments in Auckland, where many Blue Chip investors bought. The num numbers coming out of this micro market are disastrous. The Real Estate Institute figures for the median sale price in Auckland City, released yesterday, shows that prices fell 15% in central Auckland in one month alone in January. We reckon property prices overall in New Zealand are 30% overvalued. There is no doubt more price falls to come. Meanwhile, back to the real economy for fresh data showing inflation remains a problem. Food price inflation stood at 4.4% in the year to January, that's according to Statistics New Zealand. This was a slight deceleration from the 5.4% seen in the year to December. But it remains uncomfortably high for the Reserve Bank as it considers what to do with interest rates. It is battling to get the inflation rate back down into the 1-3% to target band. Grocery food price inflation remains a major culprit, with annual inflation at 8% in January, up from 7.8% the previous month. The other big movers were meat, poultry and fish prices, which actually fell 1.3% in January from December, but they're still up 4.1% for the year. We have retail sales figures for December out tomorrow, and that will give us a better idea of whether Reserve Bank will have to hike interest rates on March 6. Most say for now it's on hold, but we'll see. I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz with the Daily Briefing. Catch you on Friday.